before me. Was Newly appointed empowerment minister, President Robert Mugabe's nephew, Patrick Joao, squaring up for a battle with moderates within the ZANU-PF party. His message at the inaugural empowerment conference is that the empowerment drive will not be relaxed. I am out there to flush you out because you are a threat to the empowerment of my people. The component of economic empowerment of Zimbabwe is none negotiable. The law makes provisions for an economic empowerment fund, a fund the minister plans to finance with new taxes. That is what I will do through seeking the support of the people of Zimbabwe for a levy that will enable the people of Zimbabwe to be empowered. The 2008 economic empowerment policy forces companies worth over 500,000 U.S. dollars to cede majority stakes to local blacks. Authorities say 1,200 entities have submitted their empowerment plans, but few have actually implemented them. Economic analysts say the new minister's utterances could force more company closures as investors move north and east to the more liberal Zambia and Mozambique. Investment in these countries is 10 times higher than Zimbabwe, but Joao says there's no going back. Some dreamers among us meet Western ambassadors, drink their wine, and then make pronouncements that they will reverse indigenization. Who gave you the authority to reverse it? Earlier this year, former indigenization minister Chris Mushowe was quoted as saying that the law would be applied to the mining sector, but that for other sectors it would be negotiable. The new pronouncements are seen by some here as symptomatic of tensions between moderates and hardliners within the party as the economy flounders. Shinga Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.